Hello everyone, this is the Cosplay Scion here. Today I'm going to be expanding upon Kate's putting on a wig tutorial, which of course can be located right here. What I would like to add to this tutorial is techniques for putting on a heavy or oddly weighted wig. I've had a lot of people ask me about this lately and I figured what better tutorial to do next. A lot of wigs, such as ponytail wigs, upstyle wigs, and even super long wigs can be very heavy or just oddly weighted and shift around while you're wearing them. One very good way to deal with this is giving yourself a proper base to anchor your wig to. This can be done easily by creating pin curls. Pin curls will create a steady base that will not shift around under your wig, which you can properly anchor your wig to. All you are going to need to make pin curls are bobby pins. You may also need a hair elastic to complete your wig base depending on how many pin curls you decide to put in and how long your hair is. And last but not least, I would definitely suggest finishing up with a wig cap right before you put your wig on. One thing I will add before I go any further with this tutorial is I always do this before I put my makeup on. There are two main reasons behind this. First of which, it ensures your hair will be completely out of your face while you're trying to put on makeup. And secondly, you don't have to worry about messing up your makeup while trying to get your hair up. This is very easily done, particularly while putting on a wig cap. Now, I always start with the front of my hair for this. This is generally where it's most obvious when your wig starts slipping back. So for photography and cosplay purposes, I always consider this the most important part. I will actually generally put two or three pin curls here, even for lightweight wigs, just to ensure that throughout the course of the day, my wig doesn't start creeping back. When making pin curls, you're gonna wanna take thin sections of hair and twist them. You're gonna to wanna to twist them fairly tightly and then wrap them into tight, flat little buns against your head. These don't have to be perfect. No one's going to see them. Uh, you may need to twist up again just as you're going, but continue going. Once you have them all curled up, you're gonna to wanna to take one or two bobby pins and insert them just across so they stay in place. Now, I would like to add another little point. Um, I have rather long hair, which can sometimes make this a little difficult. My hair tends to uncoil at the ends, provided that the center of the pin curl is tight. It really doesn't matter if the edge is loose, it will still do what you want it to do. Um, this can in fact be done with most lengths of hair, uh, long hair, short hair, as long as your hair is over a couple inches long, you can generally do this. Now, you're going to want to continue along your hairline. As you can see, I've done most of mine. Um, making pin curls all the way around. You can really make however many you want. Um, however, I would suggest for heavier weighted wigs or wigs that pull in any specific direction, you do quite a bit where it's going to pull from. Um, mine is a really long wig, so it pulls back, so I've got a double row actually up in the front here. Um, and the more curls you have, the more evenly dispute, uh, distributed the weight is going to be of your wig. If you have only one or two, that is going to be holding the entire weight of your hair, and it can actually end up being quite painful. The more you have, all of them will be holding it, so you won't notice your hair pulling in any one place. At this point, I'm going to show you how to finish off if you don't wish to do your entire head. I would definitely suggest doing your entire head with pin curls, but I know as well as anyone, uh, when you're in a hurry to get in a costume, you don't always have time to. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your hair and divide it into evenly sized pieces. You're not going terribly small. Um, I'm going to go with three with my hair, and you're going to want to make medium-sized braids. Remember, you're trying to do this in a hurry, so certainly don't go crazy and make itty-bitty braids, but you're going to want to divide them up and braid them. This is the point at which you may need elastics for. And then once you've got them braided, just elastic off the ends. And then you're going to want to take them and lay them right along your pin curl line. 
Uh, you're not going to want to lay them too far back from it. If you go over the crown of your head, you may end up with weird lumps in your wig. Uh, I've done that before. I always used to lay them back here and then my wigs would actually shift their weight and pull upwards, which would actually cause more visible areas through here and at the back. So just along the edge there. And then once you've done that with all your hair, you're pretty much done setting up your base. Now, this is what it should look like when it's completely done. Um, as you can see, absolutely all of my hair is up and slick against my head. I do have a row of pin curls that goes all the way down, including some at the back of my head. That will just ensure that my wig won't slide in any direction. Uh, at this point, you really just need to put on your wig cap. Um, you can do that the same way as you do any other time. Now this is an odd style of wood cap. It's got an open top, but you just slide your wood cap on. And now you're ready to put on your wig. I would, oh, you are going to want to make sure that all your pin curls are in. As you can see, I have one that's not in, so you're just going to want to tuck that guy in there completely. The beauty of the pin curls is they will make a proper line for your wig cap to sit, and as you can see, my wig cap's not going anywhere. So, now, at this point, this is when I would suggest doing your makeup when everything is out of your face. You can do it after you have your wig on, but you might get makeup in your wig. I always just prefer to do it at this point. And now, you can continue with Kate's tutorial for how to put on the wig. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, and I hope you all come back to watch more in the future. Don't forget to subscribe! Also, one last thing before I go, if there's anything you have questions about or would like to see in the future, feel free to shoot us a message here at Cosplay Tutorials, and one of us will be certain to get back to you as soon as we can.